I'm Brian Newman, and we've got an awesome program today during our whip wad where we're going to show you how to complete your swing on both sides, but do it with the proper swing coordination, the proper muscles, allowing you to take it directly into your golf swing the next time you practice, hit balls, or are on the course. So we're gonna get started, get that body nice and loose so that we can get long to hit it even longer. I've got my palms up here, shoulders are back and down. I'm squeezing those shoulder blades together and we're gonna fall forward. Maintaining that arm connection, my armpits are squeezing in my rib cage. I'm gonna go ahead and start to pivot as you can see me demonstrating here. All right, this is our tilted torso twists where I'm using my body, I'm using my legs and I'm really getting that nice full rotation. All right, I'm using the peel underneath of me. Again, you can do this just on the ground using just the orange whip. And we're getting that body, getting that upper body nice and loose so we can make that nice full turn. We're getting those hips nice and loose. I'm using the whip here to help us train that. You also notice when I'm doing these tilted torso twists that the shaft of my orange whip is working right across my shoulder line. So you can see it's tilted. I'm not here, my arms aren't bent. I've got that nice position as you can see there, where it's cutting right across my shoulders, showing I'm in a good posture. I'm gonna also see that same thing happen on the other side. All right, this is our warm up, so just hop in here and start with me. Our goal is to get you nice and loose, and then we'll talk to you about the movements when we get into our fit skills in the workout itself. All right, next one we've got quarter squats. We're gonna lift that whip up. So I'm still palms up here, weights in the heels. I've got my toes flared out slightly and my feet are just wider than hip width. I'm gonna squat, raise that whip up and come back down. So I want you to raise the whip until your elbows start to fold, okay? I want you to drive through and try to get as high as you can. Now again, with us just warming up, take your time here, especially in the first little bit. Knees track out, lower, and I'm back up. All right, make sure that squat looks good. As you can see there, All right, you get a little wider here if we're struggling to get those arms up and straight. And again, I really want you driving through the lats as you go up overhead. Sitting back, nice and tall in the chest. So we're gonna get long with the proper muscles, right? Sometimes people are scared of a long swing. The reason that they're scared of that long swing is because they're just using their arms to do it. But we're gonna recruit the right muscles and help your coordination so you can maximize your speed, your timing, and your consistency, and the orange whip's gonna help us. And relax, should feel a nice stretch through there. Hips are starting to open up, that's what we wanna see. All right, finishing up with our warm up, back rack position. All right, as you can see, if I'm struggling to get that over, I just want you to bring it in front and pin it right across your collarbones. And then my back rack position here, I'm gonna tilt forward, allow my chest to fall forward. Elbows are rolled underneath, I'm squeezing those shoulder blades, core's engaged. I'm gonna go ahead and push through those shoulders the best I can. Armpits are trying to face forward if I can get them there. Then we're gonna pivot. Notice the shaft plane. And then I'm gonna pivot all the way through. From there we're back, drive it up, and go. Again, work with me. You got about a minute of these. If you're struggling to keep that club overhead, that's where I want it. All right, if it's out here, I want you to get a little flex in the elbows and keep that thing over the top of your head. All right, that's gonna get your upper back nice and loose, nice and mobile. Again, using my lower body here to turn and I'm maintaining that tilt. All right, you can see this peel's helping me train my lower body and my hips as I'm working through here. All right, feeling pretty good. All right, here we go. We've got six minutes of work. We're gonna count it down from 10 and stay with me. We're gonna continuously sing, swing through this. So take your time as we go. So what I mean by continuous is we're not gonna stop when we finish the swing. Statue of Liberty, push and through. 
I want you using the ground, extending up through the body, and getting nice and tall with that chest, with those hips, and get that orange whip up towards the ceiling. That lead foot's coming off the ground a little bit, that's all right. But I really want you using the ground properly here. Push, 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 nice and tall. Good. You got about 20 more seconds. The whip here, nice rhythm, getting us long, helping our swing plane, our rotation. And we're seeing it work well on both sides. Shine in that orange ball, Statue of Liberty. All right, JD swings, now let's add the hinge. So I've got that release of foot now for sure. I'm gonna add that hinge seat out of the corner of my eye and go. So we're getting long, not by folding the arms, but by turning, adding a lot of levers into that swing. You can really see how we can create a lot of power really use that lower body on that on that foot. Yeah. I can hear the speed of that whip as we go. Continuous swing, nice rhythm training. Let it release, nice hinge. Make a full finish and then we're right back through. All right, internals and externals. Here we go, think about that beach ball. Squeeze, drop, squeeze. It's gonna train that nice forward motion and make sure if I try to catch that beach ball on the way through, I've got a great transition. I'm gonna feel that in the whip and then I got a nice full finish. Drive that trail knee all the way through. Squeeze that beach ball. Definitely hear that speed. Woo! A balance there. We got about 10 more seconds. And time. Three minutes. Three minute warm up, learn the movements, three minutes. You wanna do another round, you can. I don't think we need to. That's plenty of swings, right? With that continuous swing motion, we get a lot of work done in a minute. We got our body nice and loose first, then we trained how to get long. It's gonna allow us to hit it longer when we learned how to do it properly.